Well, imagine that you wake up tomorrow morning and you don't understand anything about numbers. You don't even understand one, two, or three. Suddenly, your life has become a whole lot harder. The research shows that early learning in math is quite predictive of student success in the later grades and in all subjects. The concern we have is that students of poverty may not actually have as many opportunities to enter school uh, prepared to be successful. Many children can't recognize that as three. Uh, many children can't tell you that four is more than three. So we want to make sure that the children who come in maybe not being able to do everything have the same opportunities uh, and that we take the time to find out what they do know and take a more approach of finding out what they know and building on that rather than moving through something at a prescribed pace and, and constantly seeing that child as unable or, or to, to learn that. And if we can do that, we can prevent children from, again, internalizing that, those feelings of not being good in STEM subjects. If little kids' natural curiosity and um, fascination with comparing things and counting things and knowing how big things are, if it starts out with real fascination, you can hang on to it for a while. Too many people think that mathematics abilities are fixed from the very beginning and that some kids are talented and some kids are less talented. I think that while talent will vary across any population in any skill, we know very little about identifying that in young children. And for that reason, every child must be given opportunities to learn and to excel. Um, the other thing to think about is just Every child needs to be able to do these kinds of things to be a fully functioning citizen and to pursue different kinds of careers later on. And so we have an obligation as a society to make sure that every child is encouraged to succeed in mathematics.